Good day fellow Geminis and welcome to my channel. This is your weekly reading for February 5th to the 11th. If you're new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. I hope you're all doing well and I hope this reading resonates with you. Universe speak. Spirit's guide. What needs to be known. What lessons need to be learned. The Three of Diamonds, the Eight of Diamonds, the Nine of Hearts, and the Eight of Spades. Okay, so your general energy for the week is the Eight of Spades. You're going to have some false fears this week, uh, possibly multiple false fears. Um, and you might, in the cards say fear not. Whatever it is you're fearing, it's probably something that you want to do uh, and you're fearing it. Like you might worry that it's not going to work out or whatever, whatever it may be. Uh, but these are false fears. These are fears that you're probably causing yourself onto you. And the cards say no, act. Uh, work against those fears, work opposite to those fears, and instead of fearing, act. Take action on the things that you want. Uh, do not fear. Uh, even though you'll be going through fear, work against that. Like, work against it. Just do the opposite of, uh, like, if you're fearing something, you naturally will not do it, right? So instead of naturally not doing it, work against that and do it, you know? Uh, at the beginning of the week, you need to maintain your business, project, work, whatever you got going on, you need to maintain it hardcore this, this week uh, and make sure that you don't get squirrel syndrome uh, where you uh, get derailed, like, you know, your attention gets uh, put on something else, you know, shiny things. Uh, and you need to appreciate all the rewards that come from your work, whatever that may be. Say you're a writer, you know, and you write um, a chapter. Uh, really appreciate that and celebrate that, that you finish that chapter. You know, understand that there are people in this world that can't do that. You know, uh, say you write a beautiful paragraph, you know, uh, celebrate that, appreciate that, that you have the ability to do that, you know, and that's just, you know, writing. It, it can be anything. It can be any kind of work, any kind of project, uh, whatever it is that you're doing, just make sure that you really appreciate the work. And by doing so, it will help you maintain your business even more uh, and not, you know, get squirrel syndrome. Uh, in the middle of the week, Holy crap, there's going to be an unexpected happening, a positive unexpected happening uh, in job and money and relaxation. Uh, so I feel like this has a lot to do with you maintaining your business. Uh, but here's the thing, uh, that, that unexpected happening is a sunny day. It's a sunny thing coming in for you. It's a positive thing coming in for you. And the thing is, is that in the middle of the week, you're going to be going through something negative. You're either going to be sad or you're going to be angry or upset in some way. Uh, and that's when this unexpected happening is going to come to you. So you really need to pay attention so you don't miss that uh, coming towards you. And the thing is, is that also uh, a lot of times when we're upset, we will, we will uh, deny access of positive things coming into our lives because we're having so much uh, emotional unstableness. And you really need to stop and think, okay, it's a good thing. It's coming in. I need to take it, you know, regardless how I'm feeling at this point in time. You know what I'm saying? So uh, definitely lots of um, uh, working opposite to emotion, your false fears, uh, squirrel syndrome, uh, and, and the rain, the darkness, the bad times, whatever, uh, you got to work against all those things and, and really, uh, look to the positive things in your life and the positive things coming to you in life. Uh, and where's that going to lead? Well, that's going to lead to the end of the week here, which is the nine of hearts, a wish fulfilled love, happiness, and joy will be yours. Uh, provided that you celebrate how blessed you already are and be grateful for it. Be grateful for how blessed you are. And that's going to bring you in more uh, love, happiness, and joy into life. Um, so, yeah, 
Do not fear the things that you want to do. Instead, act upon them. Maintain your business. Do not get squirrel syndrome and appreciate all rewards that come with your your job or your project or whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, definitely when you're down in the middle of the week or you're upset or whatever, keep an eye out because something great is going to come your way and you might miss out on it because of those feelings. And uh, be grateful. Be grateful how blessed you are. Let's see what the tarot cards have to say. Universe Speak, Spirit's Guide, what needs to be known, what lessons need to be learned. And that card is the King of Swords. Uh, the King of Swords is kind of a, a stern leader, somebody that will come off like cold you know, and heartless, but they really aren't. They're just so focused on the work that they need to do. And I feel like you're going to be seen like this. And that might be part of your false fears, is that if you if you stay so intertwined... It's hold on. 20 PM. Okay. Where was I? Oh, okay. So, I feel like you fear possibly... That if you're so stern and you're so into maintaining your business and 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 you know being proudful about how blessed you are and stuff that that somehow might you know lower your your lower the view of people of you in your life they might see you as cold or heartless but no you're just doing you and you need to do you so don't don't feel this way instead do this be be a little bit you know um busy like you just don't have time uh for other people because you have to maintain your business you have something great coming towards you which is going to be more you know business work whatever because it's job and money and you know you have a right to uh be grateful and celebrate how blessed you are in life you know uh, those are things that you shouldn't be looked at as, as cold and heartless, but you might, people might see you like that this week. Uh, but still do it, you know, don't, don't fear it, whatever it is, you know, but the fears can be other things too. It can be a multitude of, of different things. Hell, you might even fear the, uh, unexpected happening coming in. It might be something that you, you think that you can't handle or whatnot, uh, which would work. Uh, against you when your emotions are unstable and you might try to push it away but don't push it away go for it definitely go for it so there you go i hope this resonated and i hope it helps and if it does hit that like button and if you would please comment share and subscribe i hope to see you back here next week and until then stay safe stay mindful and stay healthy